Welcome back to Friday Night. Police officers in Kenyona area of Moranga County are pursuing a man who allegedly hacked his employer to death before fleeing. The suspect, Fred Chaluba Morunga, who was employed as a border border rider, reportedly used a machete to commit the heinous act before disappearing with a motorcycle. The family of the victim has called on security officers to search and bring the suspect to book. Kinyona village in Muranga was thrown into grief. The suspect, identified as Fred Chaluba Morunga, went to them to plead for employment to put food on the table for his family. Later, hacking his employer six times using a machete before disappearing with a motorcycle. <laughs> An autopsy report, according to the family, revealed that 70-year-old Paul Kamau was hanged and hacked six times on the head and his hands chopped. There was also blunt trauma to the back of his head. The suspect was employed in June this year as a border border rider. No one suspected he had evil motives. Ombi langu ni kwamba hata wakaji wetu wa Muranga, wakaji wetu wa Kenya, ukiajiri mtu kama ametoka mbali, jua details zake vizuri, jua alitoka kwenye alitoka, hata ni vizuri kukuwa na recommendation ya kule ametoka ili ukimwajili asikuje kufanya mambo na kama alikuwa amefanya mambo pahali na katoroka ili ukue ukijua. Ile mambo ya ukabila haijaingia hapa. Tumekaa nao vizuri sana na hatutaki iingie kabisa. Tunataka tuendelee hivyo. Na tukai kwa mani. The family wants the police to speed up the pursuit of the suspect and bring him to book. Ombilangu ni, hii serikari yetu, hii tulichagua na upendo mkubwa. Naomba tafadhali, 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 mutu saindia, ndiposa, huyo mutu wawesa kutiwa nguvuni. In Rumuruti, Laikipia County, an autopsy report on the body of the National Police Reservist who died last month has revealed that he died from a single bullet shot. Forensic and homicide detectives pitch camp at Muguongo village of Laikipia County to exhume the body of David Musheke, who was allegedly shot dead by his colleague. Now what we have established is that this young man died of a single gunshot wound um, through the back the lower abdomen hitting the spine and exiting from the abdominal or the, the front of the abdomen. The officer was hurriedly buried after the incident in a bid to cover up the murder. The family claims that the duo had an altercation and as a result, the suspect, John Buruga Shomo, allegedly opened fire, shooting him once in the back. <laughs> The 31-year-old died while he was being rushed to the hospital. Kashomo is still being held at Rumuruti police station as investigations continue. The family has called on the state for justice. And a